Ranking Member Gibbs, the members of the subcommittee, I appreciate the opportunity to discuss strategies to improve economic opportunities and competitiveness in the U.S. maritime and shipbuilding industries. The U.S. Merchant Marine, U.S. shipbuilding and repair facilities, our nation's port systems, and supporting industries integrate our economy with a global supply chain that moves more than 90 percent of the world's trade by tonnage. These industries, vessels, infrastructure, and personnel also play a critical role in our national security, supporting our ability to provide sea lift to the Department of Defense. The mission that Congress gave the Maritime Administration back in 1936 is to foster, promote, and develop the maritime industry of the United States to meet this nation's economic and security needs. Over the past several decades, our maritime industry has suffered losses as companies, ships, and jobs have moved overseas. As this valuable industry has eroded, our nation's ability to trade internationally using U.S. flagged ships has declined significantly. To address this multi-decade trend, Marriott is working with stakeholders to identify ways to strengthen our industry. In addition, Marriott continues to leverage its existing programs to support critical mariner training, improve port infrastructure, and help address environmental challenges. U.S. Strategic Sea Lift relies on a fleet of 61 government-owned sea lift ships maintained in five and 10-day readiness status, plus ocean-going commercial vessels operating daily under the U.S. flag. Currently, 82 ships sail in that international trade, and 60 of those are enrolled in the Maritime Security Program. A domestic fleet of 99 large ocean-going self-propelled commercial vessels operating in Jones Act trade are operated by mariners with unlimited tonnage and limited horsepower licenses. All told, these commercial vessels form the primary employment pool for mariners with the unlimited credentials and training needed to meet the manning need of our nation's sea lift capability. Estimates indicate that less than 2% of the U.S. waterborne imports and exports by tonnage move on those 82 internationally trading U.S. flag commercial vessels. The last year in which the U.S. fleet carried at least 10% of our trade was in 1960 when the fleet consisted of well over 1,000 ships. U.S. flag ships must compete against foreign flag carriers that benefit from major subsidies, tax benefits, or state ownership. For example, one large foreign flag carrier that is wholly state-owned has received nearly $2 billion in state assistance over the last several years and will soon carry the single largest share of containerized imports to the United States. Absent such measures, U.S. shipping must rely primarily on cargo preference laws and the Maritime Security Program to maintain a level of competitiveness and help support the continued employment of American mariners. One of Marriott's principal responsibilities is to ensure a reliable flow of highly trained mariners available to satisfy sea lift requirements. We accomplish this through our nation's Center of Maritime Excellence, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy at Kings Point, and through the six outstanding state maritime academies. And Rear Admiral Michael Alfoltis, president of State University of New York Maritime College, will address mariner training in greater detail in the follow-up panel. I'm extremely proud of the executive order that President Trump signed on Monday to address long-standing challenges to the transition of active duty uniformed service mariners and veterans into the Merchant Marine. In short, hiring veterans makes good business sense and enables our highly trained and motivated service men and women to continue to serve our nation's needs. In terms of shipbuilding, while the U.S. remains a global leader in naval shipbuilding, our large commercial shipyards are struggling to remain afloat but for the Jones Act. However, U.S. shipyards have opportunities for growth. The expanding liquefied natural gas market, for example, presents a unique opportunity to strengthen our maritime industry. Another challenge is the state of our nation's gateway port infrastructure. The newest tool available to improve efficiency for which we are most grateful is the Port Infrastructure Development Grant funding authorized by Congress in the 2019 budget. MARAD's existing Marine Highway Program is working to develop and expand innovative services to better utilize our underutilized inland and coastal waterway system, which we expect will carry increasing levels of our nation's commerce in the coming decades. Finally, MARAD's uh, MARAD's Environmental and Technical Assistance, or META program, 
helps ensure u s fleet compliance and international environmental standards thank you for the opportunity to highlight marriage programs that support the competitiveness of u s maritime ministry i look forward to working with you on these challenges